the top tonight at 10. Dramatic video of a violent shooting has a DC neighborhood on edge. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. In our last interview, you know, you get love, you get hate in the comments, but. One um one thing that was that I got a few comments on was people saying, "Man, there ain't no gangbangers in uh in DC. We don't we don't have Crips and Bloods out here." And also, um, Aunt Glizzy was on Say Cheese, I think, a couple months ago, and he said the same thing. He was like, "There's man, we ain't got no gangbangers out here." Um, you know, as somebody, said, Aunt, what's that? He said Aunt Glizzy. Yeah, I oh, don't, he said Ch- Aunt, Aunt Glizzy or Chad Glizzy. Aunt Glizzy. Ch- Aunt Glizzy is an old fan. Talk to me. Like, he, he's been ducking Davey Russell for a minute, and all he does is talk shit over Instagram, and nobody knows where he at. Yeah. Shy Glizzy was cold sucking. Yeah, that too. Wait, Shy oh. Glizzy said that? Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure Shy it was Glizzy Glizzy. Talked about, oh, I'm pretty sure it was Aunt Glizzy. But... Oh, my man, God. Man, put the whooping on the damn beat. Come on, yeah. man. I don't even think he's that big anymore, is he? I don't even hear that about him. Like... Yeah. Oh, so he dick riding. I done started yeah. some That's shit. What he did. Oh, yeah, he did get it. I had to go get it. Not <laughs> his home. Matter of fact, his ex was telling me about that shit. Yeah, and he went to Bethesda Chevy Chase High School. Oh, that's when he got this. Oh, that's when he got bitch slapped. Hold on. Oh, shit. He's a cold sucker. So is Aunt Glizzy. Now, back, back on the topic. Now, you saying that these guys are saying there's no, there was no piss and blood in D.C., let alone the DMV area, right? Well, I'm about to set that shit down right now. Now, <laughs> last interview, the homie Avenue Trey mentioned something about, mentioned a movie called Meteor Man, right? Now, right. I'm about to mention a movie that's going to grab every single DC native's attention, and they know this is based on a true story. It's called Life, A Life of a King by, it has um, Cuba Gooding Jr. in it from Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. Now, there's this one scene, right? where Cuba Gooding Jr. was taking one of the students home to the apartment, all right? And there were two individuals there next to one of the students' mom who was a crackhead, and one of the individuals walked up to her to light her cigarette. Now, check this out. Now, here's the attention-grabbing part. It's what the dude was wearing. And this and A Life of a King was taking place in D.C., during the 1990s, like 93, 93, because the best the, thing, the best way to tell is because the 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 bus models that were running in the movie were 90 were 90 uh, model buses. Okay. But now back to the uniform. The dude had on a brown and blue flannel. All right, blue jeans. Had a pair of Chuck Taylors. Uh, a pair of low, and then a, a black beanie that had the letter D on it, and then the last part of the uniform that is definitely right in your face is a royal blue flag hanging out in his left pocket. And this is in D.C. now, during the 90s. So all these people that say there were no crystal bloods out there during the time, they was, the only thing was, is that they weren't out there like they are or they're appearing right now because everything was, they just hit, they just hit D.C. Hold up, hold up, we got we got more ammo for you, hold up. This is Avenue Trey, and I'm about to shut all of them down in the comments. For one, just because you don't know what to look for in the street, that ain't our fault, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to make it easy for you to. You just mad because you late to the party. And it's a bunch of old heads talking this shit. So I'm about to really put it on blast. For so all these And this is just a this is just this called a common sense game. If your tree if your weed is from West Coast, who you who you doing the trading, who you networking with? People from West Coast. That could be from anybody. You know what I'm saying? Black or Latino. You never know. So when you see that, you got you know, elements over here that are spreading. Same thing with your your Midwest counterparts from Chicago. Because, you know, we got some GDs 
And we had some Blackstone Rangers out here, not to confuse them with the Bloods in L.A., not from the jungle, but the actual Rangers from Chicago, okay. where T. Rogers came from. Mm-hmm. Some of them was out here. Now, if you notice, you're getting your dog from Midwest, you know what I'm saying, what networking or whatever, guess what? Your Midwest gangs are now over here. Look at, look at matter of fact, the best bomb-ass example, MS-13. Bar Salucha is 10,000 miles away from South America. What the fuck are they doing up here in a whole different country? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. They over here because, you know what I'm saying, they see opportunity. Money. You feel me? If they want to be over here, it's like this. They coming from South America, homes. South America. Last time I checked, California is 3,000 miles away, bro. That's still within U.S. soil. You feel me? It ain't shit to catch a five and a half hour flight, set up shop, and shut these motherfuckers down and start spreading. The whole purpose of a trip is to multiply. The whole purpose of a blood is to defend itself and hold its own. If one is going up here trying to get some money, you don't think that the other one wants to get some money? And if they're like that, look at the essays. The essays are the same way. You're going where the money is at. It's just like a rapper on tour. If Snoop, imagine if Snoop Dogg never went on tour. He would have never blown up. Nobody would even know about Long Beach. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg had to get on tour. He had visual representation. He had his environment, his homies, his attire being fashion in every video. He took a tour to every major city around the world. Now you have Crips in Europe. You got Crips in the UK right now. Australia. Yeah, Australia, the Philippines. You got, you got, you got, you got Asian gangs, bro. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like this shit don't, it don't stay in one spot. It don't, man. It spreads like the COVID. And you know, and a and a bomb ass example of this, it's like, even when you look back at 1993, you know what I'm saying. The war on drugs is a real thing. You feel me? Like, people were getting shot for something less than a size of a nickel. Oh, yeah. I'm 43, man. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I lived through it. Not directly, but you know what you know, I'm I saw it before my eyes. You feel me? I, yeah, so you so you understand. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at Rayford Edmonds and cats like this, Rayford Edmonds is from D.C. Alpo is from New York. Now, if these two have a connection, and they're only four and a half hours away by bus, you feel me? And they pulling up to each other's cities. They're doing what? Exchanging culture because they're networking. You know what I'm saying? Like, look look at hip-hop. Hip-hop is from the South Bronx, but now it's worldwide. It don't stay. It don't stay in one spot. It's going to morph. It's going to evolve. Today, Crips might be blued up and the bloods might be redded up. Fast forward to 21. Guess what? Crips is wearing red, and some of the bloods is wearing blue, oh, yeah. clothes-wise, not the rags, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to talk about that, too. Mm-hmm. Enemies can disguise themselves even with the rags on. You never know. All they got to do is say, oh, yeah, what up, cuz? Come up to the car, cuz. The whole time it's a car full of bloods ready to bust on you. Yeah. Police used to come snatch niggas up, throw them in the jail, you know what I'm saying, throw them straight in the cell, and then take their own car, and if it had tents on it, they're going to ride through their own neighborhood and ride on niggas. That's a tough ass camouflage drive by, man. That's a real thing. Yeah. Same thing they do over there, the same thing they do over here. Understand something. They The goal is for them to get us all. And for those motherfuckers in the comments, those are probably motherfuckers that are working. Those are probably the pigs right now trying to see if they can get something out of it. You know what I'm saying? Or they don't want to say about that is, you know what I'm saying? We be in the streets, right? You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We represent. We put it on. You know what I'm saying? These in the streets, they used to have to, no crip, no blood, no essay, no agent, no nothing. They just wolf it because, like I say, they don't want us here. And what they do is, well, if I was like the, the crash units here, well, they see the problem and the problems occur, first thing they do is get a, 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 a activist a gang member that might actually be over here from up, from up over there to ask them that these guys real. Once they can get enough voucher going for like, all right, yeah, these guys are real. 
but a lot of the LA guys like to do that is up over here. I ain't gonna say their names. I ain't gonna uh, mention their names, but people in the city know who they are. What they would do is, you know, to throw them over, tell them, well, they're not knowing enough, they just mind their business, you don't have a problem. They would, so what the units over here like to do is, they don't want to hear that. That's not a good enough answer. So then what they do is, they go to the LA and have a gang unit from LA to come over here. And then that gang unit from LA would start identifying what what is what, who's real or who's fake, what guys are serious or what guys are not serious about it. So basically what I'm saying is, like I say, they see us in the streets and people don't run up. And people know where we at. We have most of the toughest areas in this in D C. That because you don't see us, that don't mean we're not here. Do the fam low. Let's we'll touch on one more thing about this. Go for it. So basically, like like I said, now back to the movie. The only thing was that at that time, like a lot of this shit was underground, right? What are people seeing now? It's not really even new. Like they say, oh, why? Since when do everybody start wearing flags? Like people out here been wearing flags. The only thing is that now, the only difference is that back at that time, back in that time, everything was underground. It was like very secretive. Like operate, not get shut down. Yeah, we were. You know what I'm saying? It was a certain way niggas was operating. But now, all that's happening is that it's finally coming up to the surface. This really started coming around the surface, like around. Like during 2000, when the Bloods was having their, um, you know, same moment, and then the Crips started having their moment, but you know, like the Crips started having like coming up, especially now. But like I said, the shit is not new, especially in DMV, in DC, it's not new. This has been here. Everybody got a family member from somewhere, and everybody got a family member from somewhere else. So you don't think they're going to bring that shit back over here? Shit, look at Tookie Williams. He's from Louisiana originally. Mm-hmm. Turtles from Texas. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. 